Yeah, hello friends. So, welcome to the lecture on logistic regression Python implementation. So, in this lecture we will learn the implementation of logistic regression especially in case of classification problems in Python. We will take couple of examples. One we will take synthetic data where we will be going to have only couples of uh, feature vector features a couple of uh, attributes or you can say independent variables and binary classification whereas, in another example we will take a large amount of data where we will be having uh, the imaging data and we will classify the face images to their respective classes. So, with this let me start the first implementation. So, in our first implementation we are having a company data set. In this data set we are having information of users from a company means uh, it contains information about user ID, gender, age, estimated salary. Okay. And now based on these parameters we have to see whether these users will procure will purchase the company newly launched product or not. So, what we will do if you see these user ID, gender, age, estimated salary. So, user ID is of no use, it is just an ID. Gender also is not so important. So, what we will do? We will take into consideration only age and estimated salary. And based on that, we will predict, uh, we will train our classifier. And we are having two classes whether the user will purchase the newly launched product or not. So, 0 class if it is not going to purchase and 1 class if uh, it is going to purchase. So, 0 no, 1 yes. So, it is a binary classification problem. So, let me try to implement it in Python. So, here in first line I am importing pandas edge p d. In second line I am importing numpy edge n p and in third line I am importing matplotlib dot pi plot edge p l t. So, I am having these three utilities let me run it. Yeah. So, now I have imported all the utilities like pandas numpy and matplotlib. Now, what I will do? I will read the data. So, I will use the command from google.colab import files and I will use the uh, from the files class I will use upload function. So, let me run it. So, now I am having this option of uploading. I will choose the file and file is user data. Yeah. So, it is done. Now, come to the third cell. In third cell, I will see the shape of the data, size of the data. Yeah, so, if you see there are total 400 samples. So, data is coming from 400 different users and then data is having 5 columns. So, first column is for user ID, second column for gender, third column for age, fourth column for estimated salary and fifth column for purchase means either 0 or 1. Since it is a supervised le learning or uh, supervised classification problem, so we are having class information also in this data. Okay. So, now I am having this 0 or 1 these classes. If, uh, let me show you some sample of the data. So, for that data set is having data and head means I will see some uh, top 5 samples. So, you can see top 5 samples user ID, gender, age, estimated salary and purchased yes or no. Like for uh, the third user ID is this one 15668575, gender is female, 
age is 26, estimated cell is 43 k and the class is 0. So, now what we will do using this data, I will train my logistic regression classifier. Once I am having this trained classifier, whenever a new user will come. So, for new user we will know all these user id, gender age and estimated salary, but we do not know about uh, whether he will purchase or not. So, we can predict whether 0 or 1 in case of for this purchase column. So, this is your target okay? and these are your independent variables or features or input data whatever you want to say. Now, what I am doing as I told you if you see here user id gender is not having much importance in this problem. So, we can leave these two columns. So, I will having a two dimensional data where I am having age and estimated salary as my input features and purchase as the target one. So, let me do it. So, here x equals to data set dot I log I am having only third and fourth column and all 400 rows dot values and again output is nothing just fifth column. So, now I am uh, putting this data in x which is a and uh, 400 by 2 matrix or array two dimensional array where 400 rows are there two columns are there whereas, y is a one dimensional array having 4000 400 entries. So, you can see these are the class information for first two 400 user. Now, what I will do as I told you uh, I will split this data these 400 users into two categories one is for training and the rest of them for the validating or testing. So, for this I will use the command from scalar dot model selection I will import the class train uh, the functionality train test split from x and y x is your input y is your class information I will as I told you I will make two subsets of x and uh, correspondingly two subsets of y. So, I will write x train x test y train y test. So, here x train and y train I will use for learning of logistic classifier uh, that is nothing just I will learn the boundaries of that classifier which is a linear classifier and from the testing I will see and from the testing x test and y test I will see the performance. So, let me do it. So, here you can see test size is 0 0.25. So, what I am doing? 75 percent data I am using for training whereas, 25 percent data I am using for testing. So, out of 400 randomly I am picking 300 patterns for training and 100 patterns for testing. So, then I am having this data transformation okay, or scaling of the data for that I will use the functionality standard scalar and what it will do it will shift my data means input data to 0 mean and standard deviation 1. So, if you see first 10 samples of age and estimated salary because why we are doing it? Because if you see here age is like 19, 35, 26 where estimated salary is 19, uh, 1000, 20, 000, 43, 000 and so on. So, there are big difference if you see the uh, value of these two features. So, to normalize them to put them in the same set of value we are putting this scaling of the data. 
So, now after doing it you can see for the first user for the first user uh, this uh, edge is 0 0.58 where edge estimated cell is minus 0 0.88 and so on. So, in this way we have done this scaling and then come to the most important part that is calling the logistic regression function. So, from a scalar dot linear model import logistic regression. So, as I told you in uh, case of linear regression we were having import linear regression here I am having import logistic regression rest of the uh, syntax is similar. Now, I will define an object of this logistic regression. Uh, a logistic regression class. So, I am giving that object name as classifier. So, classifier equals to logistic regression and then as in case of linear regression or PCA or LDA I will perform the training. So, this object classifier dot fit I am calling the function fit and I am passing the data x train which is input training data and y train which is class information for input data. So, let me run it yeah. So, you can see here now I am having an instance of this logistic regression class ok with different hyperparameter ok. So, for uh, you can go to the scalar uh, class you can see ok in scikit-learn of this logistic regression for uh, knowing the importance of these hyperparameters ok. After that what we will do? We will predict now I am having this classifier which is a trend model using the training data. So, whatever testing data 25 percent or 100 samples we have put in testing set, we will evaluate the performance of this classifier on those patterns. So, for that what I will do classifier and I will call the function predict and here I will pass only x test because y test is actual class information for these x test samples and whatever prediction will be there that I will store in y pred. So, let me run it yeah. Now, what I will do uh, in more detail we will learn all these confusion matrix and all those parameters in next lecture, but here I will give you just what is classification accuracy here. So, for that uh, I will import some utilities one of them is confusion matrix which is saying me that uh, 65 uh, there are total 68 users in uh, 0 class out of which 65 are truly classified in 0 class itself and 3 are misclassified. In the same way there are total 32 users in class 1 that I am talking about testing data in which 24 users are classified correctly into class 1 where its 8 patterns are misclassified, 8 patterns are misclassified. If you see the accuracy of the classification algorithm, so their total are 100 testing samples out of which 65 plus 24 means 89 patterns are correctly classified. So, accuracy is nothing just 0 0.89 ok that is y test comma y pred ok. So, this is my first example of logistic regression. Now, come to second example. So, this is a more advanced example, but whoever is interested they can follow it. So, here what I will do in first cell 
I am just importing some of the utilities like numpy, matplotlib, scipy and so on. Let me run it to import these utilities. Okay. Now, in this classification problem we are having face images from a benchmark data set that is called LFW. Okay. Now, from this benchmark data set we are having face images and their respective classes. We will classify those face images, first what we will do we will uh, import those face images along with their class information into our uh, code and after that what we will do we will split thus, uh, those patterns or face images into training and testing data. After that what we will do? We will make an instance of logistic regression and we will try to classify it. So, this is the code uh, as I told you to fetch those uh, face images uh, from LFW. Okay. So, from Escalon dot data sets import fetch LFW people and here I am using this function fetch LFW people and minimum faces per person is 60. So, what I want to say that from each class at least I will be having 60 samples. So, let me do it. So, it may take some time because it is having it may take some time because it is having uh, means big size because these are the images. Yeah, so we have done it. So, if you can see here we are having these are the classes face images of these famous people. Ariel Seron, Colin Powell, Donald Rumsfeld, George W. Fuss and so on. So, that total I am having here for 8 classes okay. and total number of images are 1348. Each image is of size 62 by 47. So, around 3000 pixels. Let me plot some of them. So, this is just a piece of code for plotting those images and you can see these are the face images of 62 by 47 size of these different. So, let me make it a bit more clear just plotting the 9 images. Yeah, so, you can see Colin Powell, George W. Puss. So, these are their actual classes and these images are input data. Now, like the earlier code I will import logistic regression from a scalar dot linear model and I will create uh, an object of this logistic regression class and the name of the object is model. So, this instance model I will use for classification. So, I have created it. Now, like the earlier case, I will split my uh, whole data into training and testing sets. So, again I am using the same train test split for this. I have explained it in earlier example. Now, I will go model dot fit x train y train. So, I am performing the training using the training data. Okay, so, training has been done. Now, I will predict the testing data. The syntax is similar to earlier example and let us see some of the results. So, again this cell is for plotting those results and now you can see. So, I am having two different colors for these class names those are in black 
they are correctly classified whereas those are in red they are misclassified. So, if you see here these uh, uh, almost 20 images out of which which I have plotted here 3 are misclassified and 17 are correctly classified means we are able to recognize face of those 17. Let us see the performance as I told you I will explain these matrix in next class, but here I can uh, tell you some uh, can give you some idea of it. So, this is the confusion matrix uh, which is since I am having total 8 classes. So, it will be total 8 by 8 and the first one is aerial serol. So, actually I am having total uh, in the testing data 15 images of aerial serol. However, after classification I am getting the sum of first column you can see 17 images are classified as of the aerial serol. So, in that way 11 are correctly classified, 57 is correctly classified in case of Colin Powell, uh, 22 are correctly classified in case of Donald Rumsfeld, 105 are cla uh, correctly classified in case of George W. Bush and so on. Okay. So, in that way and overall accuracy of the algorithm is 81 percent. Okay. So, these are some basics of uh, this uh, machine learning where a lot of mathematics are involved and we have taken in this week a couple of those algorithm one for regression that is linear regression and one for classification that is logistic regression. So, in this lecture we have learned how to implement logistic regression in python. We have taken couple of example one from company data set whether the users will purchase a newly launched product or not and the second one from uh, the face recognition kind of thing. Okay. With this let me close this lecture. Thank you very much.